to nearly burning down the whole jail. These are King Vons, most disrespectful King. and savage. Hi, hello, I am back with another reaction video. Ow, and this heater is burning my leg. <laughs> Couldn't turn it off. So yeah, I'm back with another King Von video. Today, I'm gonna be reacting to King Von's most disrespectful moments behind bars. I actually do like this YouTube channel. So if there's any other video from this YouTube channel you'd like me to react to, then let me know. Or if there's any other King Von video, Follow me, message me, follow me on Instagram, let me know where you can follow me because I do let you know when I'm dropping new videos. Um, so yeah, make sure you follow me so you're kept in the loop. But yes, King Von's most disrespectful behind... No. King Von's most disrespectful moments behind bars. I have reacted to King Von's most disrespectful moments, so I'll leave it at the end of the video and I'll put it up here as well so you can check it out. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching and I'm gonna jump straight into it. From beating up bops to nearly burning down the whole jail, these are King Von's You're most joking. disrespectful and savage moments behind bars. Recently, King Von has been the main topic of discussion after footage of him started going viral by doing time in Cook County Jail. But first, let's talk about what landed him behind bars. In 2014, King Von was chilling at a house party and during the party, a guy named Malcolm Stuckey and some of his friends were mean mugging Von to try and scare him. Von decided not to try anything since he was outnumbered. So he left the party in the great vehicle to go pick up his homie, Big Mike, for backup. Around 45 minutes later, King Von and Mike returned to the party, but parked in an alley near the house. The two of them hopped out of the car with loaded guns and headed to the front of the house. Malcolm Stuckey and two others were sitting on the front porch when Von and Big Mike opened fire on them. Malcolm and the other man ran down the street to it escape but both ended up getting hit the other man on the porch was hit as well as he was attempting to run inside the house yeah, in the this. end three people were critically wounded but Malcolm Stuckey unfortunately got hit in the head and passed away later that day after the drill Vaughn and Big Mike ran back to their whip and fled the scene but both of them ended up getting arrested days later during the investigation over 20 shell casings were recovered Big Mike even admitted to police that he shot a gun 15 to 16 times at yeah. one of the victims King Vaughn on the other hand refused to say anything during interrogation. So the two were held without bond and were facing life in prison for charges of first degree murder and two attempted murders. And while behind bars, King Vine was still breaking the rules and disrespecting his ops. Starting with the time King Vine straight up exposed his op in jail because all of the inmates were in a holding cell. And while in the cell, everything was all good until Vine noticed his op, 051 Freaky. Once he saw him, Vine slipped out of his handcuffs and headed toward Freaky. Freaky tried to hide, but Vine caught him because he couldn't do much and started throwing hands at him. Damn. Let's go back. So Vine notices... How's he slipping out of his handcuffs? His ops. Starting with the time King Vine straight up exposed his op in jail because all of the inmates were in a holding cell. And while in the cell, everything was all good until Vine noticed his op, 051 Freaky. Once he saw him, Vine slipped out of his handcuffs and headed toward Freaky. Freaky tried to hide, but Vine caught him because he couldn't do much and started throwing hands at him and knocking him to the ground. Two other inmates joined in to help Vine, and thankfully, prison guards came to the rescue and broke everything up. And Vine and Freaky were both removed from the bullpen. And one thing that had everyone confused was how Vine was able to slip out of the handcuffs. Yeah! How? You can even see that he was cuffed correctly. You can see the marks from the cuffs on his arm. How'd you get out of your cuffs? How'd you get out of your cuffs? How'd you get out of your cuffs? You thought you were still in them? Are you double giant? Turns out the reason Vine attacked Freaky was since he had a disrespectful tattoo on his body saying L.A. Capone. Not long after the incident, someone made a tweet saying they Vine beat somebody up before court yesterday because he had a L.A. tattooed on his arm. After the fight, police wanted a statement from Vine and Freaky. And this is what Vine had to say when questioned by police. You know what's funny, Vine? You want to choose and give a statement? That's my statement right there. Mr. Bennett's stating that he did not do anything. Anything else you want to add? Do you have any injuries? 051 Freaky also stayed solid after the fight because when questioned, this is what he had to say. Mr. Howard, you want to explain what happened? It's Anything else you want to add? 
grabbing the edges. People weren't surprised that Vine did that when seeing Freaky. Since 051 are the ones responsible for L.A. Capone's death. Because on September 26, 2013, while leaving the recording studio around 6 p.m., L.A. went to look for his ride down the street. As he was walking down the alley near 70th Street and Stony Island Avenue, he was approached by a dude later identified as 051 Lil Mick and gunned down. So Vine wanted to get back to that situation. But that ain't the only time Vine exposed one of his ops while behind bars. Because he also did the same with Lil J. One clip went viral where Vine asked the guards if he could get moved to protective custody. And it seemed like he wanted to get moved there badly because he even put on a suspicious act so the guards could move him there. And Vine didn't actually want to get moved to protective custody. He just wanted to get moved to another deck. He doesn't, he doesn't want anything. He just wants to move across the hall. Oh. I asked me one piece you don't want. He just wants to move across the hall. At first, no one knew the real reason why he was doing this. But it turned out that he didn't want to be on the same deck as his op, Lil' J. Since Lil' J is very sus. Once Vine found out that Lil' J was in protective custody, he told the guards that he couldn't go there due to Lil' J being in there. Since Lil' J takes booty. I'm trying to get some off the set. They're trying to kill you. That doesn't happen in protective custody. I just offered you a protective custody and you refused it. I said, I just did so much to people in the room. You gotta check my pants over. You got to all the people You got to jump on going. Sir, that's up, for, up to classification to assign you different cells, okay? Vine isn't the only one who doesn't want to be around Lil' J because okay. his own friend, FBG Butter, doesn't even want to be around him because instead of being around Lil' J, Butter asks guards if he could be moved to the hole. Wow, At first, not a lot of people believed Vine when he tried exposing Lil J for being suspicious while behind bars. Because Lil J would always deny the rumors. Another thing too is people were talking about, you know, some or messing with a guy. Let's let's clear the air on that too. That's like the number one thing people when want to I talk heard about. that. That was the most goofiest I ever heard in my life. And I knew it had to come from somebody goofy or something. Don't never play with my name like that, man. Never say no. When I was tired, none of that. But the truth came out once the clip got leaked. Okay. Little Jay letting a guy sit in his lap and kiss on him. And that ain't the only clip that proved the rumors to be true. Because another clip got leaked showing Lil' J confronting another inmate. Since the inmate was harassing the dude that he talks to. Because in the clip, the dude calls Lil' J to his cell to let J know that he's not leaving the cell since an inmate is harassing him. So Lil' J then goes over to confront the inmate who was harassing the dude. Sorry, let's go back, sorry. Because in the clip, the dude calls Lil' J to his cell to let J know that he's not leaving the cell since an inmate is harassing him. So Lil' J then goes over to confront the inmate who was harassing the dude, and they meet in the cell to settle their differences. After the altercation, Lil' J is removed from the day room by the guards, and the dude that Lil' J was dating was finally able to walk out of the cell. After these clips hit the internet, people said King Vine was right all along, mm -hmm. and even some of Lil' J's own gang members were clowning him after seeing those clips. So to see you sitting there to be talking up a boy boy, trying to force a boy boy into the washroom, they mean that you would take any one of anybody, given the time and the place. You the booty man. No, booty man bro. that's the booty man. One of Lil J's closest partners, King Yella, even confirmed the rumors to be true and explained what Lil J tried doing to him once. I've seen you kind of speak on Little Jay in the past a little bit, man. I, but I came across an old Say Cheese clip where you said that he tried to kiss you. Tried to kiss me off a pill, man. That's but Lil J isn't the only one who threw hands in the day room because Vine was also in the day room one day and two dudes were jumping one of his ops. So once Vine saw what was going on, he decided to jump in and things didn't turn out nice 
after he did this. Because after someone tried to run up on Vine after he jumped in, and that's when Vine threw a hook and dropped the dude before getting chased by cops and tackled to the ground. But Vine ain't only getting into fights with other yeah, inmates yeah. while in jail. Because he also had an incident where he had to fight a guard since. And he explains this situation in his interview after everything took place. There was an incident that occurred up there at 2034 hours with Division 9 staff. Do you care to tell me in your own words what happened up there? There's a few and make them want to come and see them. So the white shirt came. The white shirt came in the room, said go to the back. Mm -hmm. I told I need to talk to him. Instead of talking, just pushed me, got to punch him. Grabbed him by my head, slammed him into it. I don't see those rest in. They hand They brought me downstairs. My hands too. They try to say I hit him or something. Got no marks on my hands. But that ain't nothing because there's even an incident where Damn, King Von so almost much. burned the whole jail down. No, so like. this is where this is. I gotta hear about this about Billy Bird in the jail. Now let me see. Got no marks on my hands. But that ain't nothing because there's even an incident where King Von almost burned the whole jail down while being locked up. Because on April 15th, 2017, King Von and several other inmates set fire to the Cook County Jail. Jeez. The whole room was smoked out and the fire was slowly getting larger. But over time, the fire slowly died out before things got too out of hand. Vine was doing all types of things in jail because there's even footage showing Vine popping pills while behind bars. And once guards found out, they instantly put Vine in handcuffs and took him to the hole for doing this. And after sitting in jail and going crazy for three and a half years, Vine's trial finally began. The trial lasted a total of five days. And the outcome was surprising because Big Mike, Vine's co-defendant, got sentenced to 28 years and Vine got acquitted of all yeah, charges. Vine that, was yeah. finally free after three and a half years in the Cook County Jail. Not too long after getting out of jail, Vine got into a situation with Quando Rondo and lost his life outside of an Atlanta nightclub. Mm -hmm. But speaking of getting into it, click this video to see seven rappers who attacked their fans because then Ellie Chopper had to smack a fan for going too far. And TJ X6 almost dropped the fan for walking up on him. I'm going to have to watch that video, let me tell you, okay? But yes, King Von most disrespectful moments. I've had that video being requested quite a lot, so I had to do it today because people were getting on my back. <laughs> but yeah, King Von was really was really out here behind bars, okay? I don't know, I just still don't understand how he slipped out of those handcuffs. If you know, let me know in the comments, but aren't handcuffs like, you know, tight to your wrist? And he's just slipping out of him like nothing. You know, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, um, I do have a lot more other King Von videos that people have suggested. So I will be reacting to those at some point. Let me know what you think about this video as well that I've just reacted to in the comments. And I will see you very, very soon in the next video. Bye.